All right, you guys want them, you need them, blah, 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 I don't care. Come on in as you fucking see fit. I, what the fuck is, oh, for God's sakes, what the hell? Oh my God, I swear to God, I'm going to shoot this program and it's fucking, oh my God. Okay, you're pissing me off. What? Why are you alone? God, oh my God, fine, fuck it. Boom, there, fuck you. God, you fucking cock-sucking cunt. Fine. Boom. Go live. And by the way, fuck off when I need you to. Fine. There. Jesus fucking Christ. We were just on there, you stupid son of a bitch. God, how long is this going to fucking affect me? God, fuck me and fuck this program if this happens. Anyway, we're going to be looking at some commercials. You can't wait. I can't wait. Let's look at them. Mario. Look, Ronald. Mario's mystery block makes him big. And my magic box <laughs> makes us lunch. <laughs> What's in McDonald's Happy Meal? One of four Nintendo Super Mario Brothers three toys. A Mario toy that jumps. Or an acrobatic little Goomba. A pullback Luigi. Or a hopping Koopa Paratroopa. I had the Mario toy and the Goomba toy. One toy with each Happy Meal you buy. Hey, Turner, quit hogging the Corn Pops. Oops, all gone. No big deal. My Kellogg's Corn Pops all gone? Stay calm. You want something else? Nah. I want my corn pops. That's what I want. Like sweet popcorn, you always want more. And you two sleazoids why I invited to my house to spend the night and share my corn pops up nothing for me. <gasps> hey, Baker, there's plenty more. I was just pulling your chain. Think you fooled me? Kellogg's Corn Pops is part of this complete breakfast. I gotta have my pops. Uh, well, considering you went on an almost psychopathic rant, um, okay. By the way, Corn Pops is not that fucking enjoyable. Soggy's Ho! Oh no, they're after your delicious cereal! Full speed ahead! <laughs> that sweet, tasty crunch is gonna be ours! Can I'd say 91 or 90. Crunch, are you worried? No, I have a plan, though, Swallow. Hook, line... Oh boy! Oh boy! And sinker. Oh no! <laughs> Way to go, Captain! I knew we were fishing for trouble. <laughs> Captain Crunch is a tasty part of a balanced breakfast. Delicious! <laughs> and a tasty breakfast. Oh, God. There was a time when only Count Chocula remained, but this was a time when you had Frankenberry and Booberry. Who's here? Ghosts! Our town chocula cereal! It's it's haunted! Mm, yummy marshmallow ghosts! <laughs> Scary bats and new spooky ghost marshmallows are haunting all the monster cereals. They're the ghostly part of this complete breakfast. Although I hate, 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 hate with a capital H. Any of the cereal marshmallows. Oh, God, those things are so disgusting. Now, for new Tyson Looney Tunes meals, Daffy Duck. Thank you. My spaghetti and meatballs. Uh, Sylvester. My fit sticks are stupendous. Tweety? Look, new Twitches. New Twitches, too. <laughs> Introducing Tyson Looney Tunes meals for kids. Nutritious meals that taste great. What? don't remember that because my mom insisted I eat real food. Bunny. You'll find my meal in your 
course, is Freezer. And uh, these other guys, too. New Looney Tunes meals from Tyson. Feeling like family. I want action! I know you're gonna dig this. Gotta do that. Gotta do that. My sister loves that shit, man. She loves Lucky Charms, but... Oh, God, those marshmallows. Oh, my God. I'd rather fucking... Fucking... Oh, God. Ugh, I hate those things. But that's just me. Just they always tasted weird. They always felt weird. I never liked them in my mouth. I, I, yuck. And if you were to force me to eat them, I'd probably give you the nuclear codes. Stay tuned for some classic Woody Woodpecker cartoons next on Fox 66. Um, I remember this product. It was terrible. Now, granted, I was given this product blindfolded with a Catholic priest, so take that into your considerations. Woody and his pals will return in a moment. Success in life. It's more than a program about success. It's a program about life. Join Robert Tilton as he brings you an exciting hour of tech. Oh, God, Robert Tilton. Is he the guy that, that did the famous tongue thing? my guy, guy, go, go. Diddy diddy diddy, make a lick a high, make a high me high, make a lick a high, make a high me. I love you. Testimonies filled with people just like you whose lives have been changed by the miracle working power of God. If you've been looking for answers. Oh, God, I remember this. Okay, children, gather, gather around, children. It's high time ye heard. About Sunday morning infomercials. This is when TVs found they could make money by just broadcasting someone else's shit during dead time. And Sunday was about the deadest of the dead times. So you get the Tiltons and you get the Billy Mazes and the Ron Popeils and all that other shit. It used to be dominated by wrestling, but yeah, you'd have, you'd have this shit. Because he'd pay for the hour on TV, a carefully edited video of him, I don't know, curing the black man's dick dysfunction, blah, blah, blah. in your life join robert tilton for success in life get on the road to see so thank god i was never raised in a religious household and i just kind of looked at these and watched them even as a kid and it's like oh my god you people are fucking dumb success in life weeknights on this station oh i know he he he, he was a hot <laughs> 
You know, I, I say I have no empathy, but I gotta have at least some shred of empathy. Because if I didn't, I'd be like these assholes. I'd be like Peter Popoff and, and, and uh, that other religious guy that was just on. I already forgot his name. Or Billy Graham or Jerry Falwell or any of them. Seriously, I, I'd be like any of them and just keep asking for money. I don't believe in any divine retribution, so what's stopping me? I, apparently, I might have a sh sliver of empathy left. Because I don't want to deny Grandma her dinner because she thinks I can magically cure her arthritis. I can't, Grandma. Blame your God for making you this imperfect. Fun house. There's lots more mess and awesome new stuff. Which Sabbath, Malcolm McKenzie? Which Sabbath? Muslims have their Sabbath on Friday. Jews have their Sabbath on Saturday. Christians have their Sabbath on Sunday. Which Sabbath? And as for keeping it holy, nobody fucking did, even back then. I was there. I was there for the Reagan and the Bush thing. Nobody gave a fuck about religion. Weekdays at 2.30. No one cared. Seriously. For all the money they dumped into it, for all the money they tried to extract from it, and... To, to be honest, they did extract a good amount. Nobody gave a shit. Everyone in the audience was my grandparents' age at the time. Nobody cared. Sorry that there's... God was already losing his grip. On Fox 66. And now... Show. Woody will be back in a flash. Look at the family scrapbook. <gasps> Uncle Harry. What? Rabbit has lots and lots of T-R-I. Does this say tricks? I can't believe it. If Uncle Harry has lots of sweet, fruity tricks, surely he'll give me some. Hmm, Rabbitville Theater. You think he's still there? Where are you going, Rabbit? Aren't you going to ask us for some sweet, yummy tricks? Oh, I'm going to get my very own tricks. Lemony yellow, orangey orange, grapeity purple, raspberry red. The fruity, delicious part of a complete breakfast. Look, Rabbit, if you really want some tricks, buy a gun. Put it to the little bastard's heads. Yippee! Uncle Harry's still here! Wow, I've never seen so many tricks! I'm finally gonna get to enjoy... Oh, no! Magic tricks? <laughs> you were expecting maybe sweet, fruity, delicious tricks? Oh, oh boy. boy! Silly rabbits. These kind of tricks are for kids. Oh! Now you can get Uncle Harry's favorite magic trick inside Mark Boxes of Tricks. It's a magic viewer. Hold it up to your eyes for a magical surprise. Assembly required. Fox Kids Club! Kids Club! Hey kids, now there's a club just for us! For me? It's the new Fox Kids Club with great contests and discounts. Radical! Get your own membership card, the Fox Kids Club magazine, and best of all... It's fun! It's free! It's awesome! Oh, I'm the same way. I hate cereal milk. How the hell that became a thing? It's warm sludge. Yeah, I'd, I'd rather have you punch me in the fucking balls. To join, send us a card with your name, address, city, and birthday to Fox 66 Kids Club, P.O. Box 1566, Flint, Michigan, 48501. Fox Kids Club! <sighs> 
Good Monkey show. Babies, a fantastical world of fun and adventure. Waka, waka, waka! The wild and wonderful Muppet Babies will be coming your way five days a week, all singing, all laughing. Wow, this is great! Muppet Babies, they'll make your dreams come true. Weekdays at 3 on Fox 66. show will be right back now just when you thought it was safe to eat shark bites the shark may have up to three thousand teeth ah! oh dear god no oh my god no i'm Gosh, the last of my kind a shark's tooth. Fruity shark's teeth. Now in Shark Bites Fruit Snacks, you can put the bite on some today. Hey, Ace. Wanna raise? It's the Turtles Pizza Powered Sewer Dragster and the Evil Foot Clan Psycho Cycle Motorcycle. Pull the ripcord and they're all all over the place. Oops, Bebop took a wrong turn. Wait a minute, pizza that slices back? That's right, it's Pizza Face, the mutated pizza chef. He's using his killer pizza to try to stop the sewer dragster. That's how you take on a pizza. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. From Playmate. Chipmunks, give me five. Five days a week of chipmunk fun. Chipmunk friendship. Uh, you might hate me for saying this, but I didn't give a rat's ass about the chipmunks, both as an adult and as a child. Chipmunk adventure. Chipmunk music. And chipmunk mischief. Alvin! There's nothing like chipmunk fun with Alvin and the chipmunks. Alvin and the Chipmunks, weekdays at 3.30. Check in with your DuckTales friends. The TV's ready. Oh, home movies. I'm ready. Popcorn's ready. I'm ready. And check out the fun you've been missing. Action! So if it's a good time you're after, count on Uncle Scrooge and Company. No problem. They've got a front row seat reserved for you. That was another show I never got into, even as a kid, DuckTales. I want to see more! On Disney's DuckTales. <laughs> Weekdays at 4 on Fox 6. What the hell was I watching at the time? 66. Oh, that's right, probably Simpsons recorded on VHS. <laughs> Watch out, Mr. Wilson. Dennis is on the prowl, and trouble is sure to follow next on your station for cartoons and fun on Fox 66. Oh, God, do I remember that shit from my youth. It's been one heck of a season so far, huh, Mike? That's right, Ron. And the crowd is really up for this game. Hi, breakfast fan. How about some Honey Nut Cheerios? Hey, we got a game going on here. But as part of this complete breakfast, Honey Nut Cheerios blends real honey with it. Uh, dude, baseball games at the earliest are contested at noon. People have had the breakfast. Or just chose to skip it. Crunchy nuts. I always thought he meant empty. Have faith, compadres. Yes, I'm going to strand us out here in the middle of nowhere so we can enjoy our mediocre candy bar. Oh, and that's where it ends. Okay. 
And here, my mini microman and I are moving curiously fast. We're inside the Micro Machine Speed Shop where you customize cars by changing parts. Hey, tiny turbo. Um, son of a bitch. I thought I had. God damn it. Motherfucker. Thought I had some other ones pulled up. Apparently, Antifa has uh, attacked uh, some Christian uh, patriots, protesters, whatever. And they even attacked their children. So, uh, yeah, Antifa, good luck. You're done. By the way, tomorrow I'm going after that dumb, stupid fucking black bitch, Cori Bush. And her stoop and, and how she is fucking fundamentally, fundamentally destroying the party. I could go into it now, but I'd have to shut down the stream. There's a Tell you what. Just for the hell of it. For the viewers that are left. Do you want me to see me rip apart TYT and their and their defense of Cory Bush? Or it will cause me to have to shut down the stream. Or should I keep doing commercials and deal with uh Cory Bush and TYT later. It's up to you guys. I don't give a damn. Vote for commercials. Right now, three to one TYT or three to one commercials. I'm going to go another uh, thing of commercials. <sighs> All right, we'll keep doing commercials for a little bit. Performance wheels make you customize micro machines race fast, faster, fastest. The micro machine speed shop comes with special cars, engines, spoilers, and sets of tires. Remember, if it doesn't say micro machines, it it's not, not the real thing. thing. Micro. Oh, God, I remember these things. Machine man here. Hey, wait, who turned out the lights? I'll just turn on the micro lights. Just touch them like so, and they really glow. They're the brightest bunch of micros with wheel working head and tail lights. The micro lights each sold separately from Galoob. Remember, if it doesn't say micro machines, it's not the real thing. What a bright idea. Hey, how about a nice Hawaiian punch? Sure. Oh, God, this fucking product. This is, to this day, the only taste I cannot identify. The only thing I can say is it tastes like Kool-Aid if instead of sugar it was high fructose corn syrup. For over 20 years now we've been feeling the crunch of this funky dude in Atlas from Hawaiian Punch. Hawaiian Seven fruits are blended. For it was peace between the U.S. and the Soviet Union. Judging by all the new friends Tony made in Moscow, his mission was a big success. Three cheers for Tony Allen Gina, another kid hero from Cheerios. He was later killed. Would you believe you can shop for a new home without having to leave your living room? Well, you can. Just tune in. No, you, mi you mix that shit with vodka. 
it 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 it, it tastes like cough syrup. Um, I did it once. I thought it would taste great. It tasted like cough syrup. Into the Fox 66 Home Show this Sunday morning at 10. You'll see some of the most beautiful homes for sale in the area. So pour a cup of coffee, sit back, and watch the Fox 66 Home Show Sunday morning at 10. DuckTales, afternoons at 4 on Fox 66. The real Ghostbusters will return after these messages. Oh, God, I remember that thing. Every time I was at the gas station with my dad, I wanted that little lifesaver roll, and every time he got it for me, and, well, I ate every damn one of the candies. Lifesavers candy. Isn't life delicious? Candy grams are here to stay. The taste is truly fine. Nothing else tastes that way. I'm so glad they're mine. They are number one today. Candy grams are here to stay. The Bisco. From the magical mind of Jim Henson. Although, I will say, Teddy Grahams are fine. They're nothing that special. It's one of those things that, like, a dad and his, like, one-year-old son can enjoy because they're small enough to where he can actually gum them down. And director Nicholas Rogue comes The Witches. They've turned Luke into a mouse. Things could have been worse. Hello, <gasps> Mike. Now, he's trapped in a world twice his size in a big oh, comedy adventure God. and having as much fun as humanly possible. Keep up, Bruno! Discover the witches. They're up to some new tricks. Yeah, and then when uh, What's-Her-Face remade this uh, movie years later, she had to apologize for being shown with three fingers because that was offensive to people with limb differences. Oh, God. Everyone remember when we were just making a fucking movie? The Witches. Rated PG. Starts Friday, August 24th at a theater near you. Check in with your DuckTales friends. The TV's ready. Oh, home movies. I'm ready. Popcorn's ready. I'm ready. And check out the fun you've been missing. <laughs> So if it's a good time you're after, count on Uncle Scrooge and Company. No problem. They've got a front row seat reserved for you. I want to see more. On Disney's DuckTales. Weekdays at 4 on Fox 66. Can ducks even eat? It's the Kool-Aid Wacky Warehouse Mall, where we've got lots of wild stuff. At the Anything and More floor, we've got... Anything and more. To the Wacky Pool for a sip. Of new chocolate berry thin Kool-Aid. The Wacky Warehouse Mall. The wackiest mall of all. And now what's wild is Kool-Aid is giving toys away at KB Toy Stores. Wow. You can get your free toy by bringing 15 Kool-Aid points to any participating KB Toy Store. Kool-Aid points are on all Kool-Aid soft drink packages. Oh, yeah! Now I never did that. I, I I probably started collecting points, then didn't care. Presenting Dancing Pretty Ballerina. Dancing Pretty Ballerina. She dances on her own. Wow! Get her ready to dance for you. Uh, these days, this sexist piece of shit commercial is reinforcing the stinger stereotype that only girls can be ballerinas. Dance, dance, dance. I'm going to be a ballerina just like you. Dancing pretty ballerina doll, comb not included, each sold separately. New from Mattel. <laughs> Oh, this woman is a proud professional businesswoman, and she will... Mom, I'm going to take you out tonight. Let's go to Chuck E. Cheese's, our favorite place full of fun. Play games. Well, 
you're not really taking her out. You're, um, she has to pay for everything. The only real memory I have of Chuck E. Cheese is that of an adult. Uh, my eldest, or my, no, my uh, second eldest nephew. He had his... Probably second or third birthday at Chuck E. Cheese, and somehow I get roped into going to it. Normally, I would have just told my brother to fuck off. Uh, but I went to it. I, I don't remember why, but anyway, halfway through the party and the pizza and everything, I'm like, I, I, I need a drink. So I excuse myself and... Ready to go out into the greater mall and find a bar at the mall. And, uh, lo and behold, I found out that, uh, yeah, Chuck E. Cheese is, yeah, they serve alcohol. So I grabbed two beers and decided to play the, um, Star Wars Episode One pod racing game. I was doing okay, but I was distracted and laughing at all the disapproving parents. Well, you can't drink and drive, but you can drink and pod race. Where the hell is this boy's father? Come on, Liz. Pick out your cereal and let's get going. Coming. Oh, no. That kid took the last box of Kellogg's Corn Pops. Stay calm. Uh, sir, you're out of Corn Pops. Liz, just pick something. Pick something? I want my Corn Pops. Oh, I could be at home eating all the pops I want, but I'm stuck in the woods on some stupid family vacation, and that little weasel took the last box. Ah! Nice day. Yes. I love the woods. Kellogg's Corn Pops is part of this complete breakfast. I gotta have my pops. We now return to the real Ghostbusters. By the way, Corn Pops are like literally the most boring cereal ever. Now let us focus on Harris perfectus, a species best known for its remarkable plumage. This unique growth was long thought to be non-functional. However, recent findings indicate that Harris perfectus actually strains food through it, much like the baleen whale. And again, this wild creature wears only Levi's jeans. Now, just when you thought it was safe to eat shark bites. Oh, God. God, I remember that. That was tied to the vanilla ice look. Oh, God, do I remember that. And no, I never did it. The shark may have up to 3,000 teeth. <laughs> Uh, class dismissed. Whoa! A shark's too fruity sharks. Well, I, uh, okay, I, I didn't watch it. That was the thing. I, I didn't really watch a whole lot of the original Ducktales, so I. What I did see, but, you know, it could be just an unfair assessment. You know, like, one of my favorite favorite shows when I was a little boy was ALF. But I've watched, uh, I've watched some of the episodes back, and it's a, as an adult, and they're like, Okay, I can see the heroine. Which is what the showrunner on was on at the time, and it's like, 
Yeah, this is fucked up. I do not remember if I ever ate shark bits or not. Now in Shark Bites Fruit Snacks, you can put the bite on some today. I never heard about the raccoons. If if I if I if I've seen them, it's gone out of my memory. The apple sweet crunch that'll shake you up is part of this complete breakfast. Oh. God, I remember when Apple Cinnamon Cheerios came out. Ugh. They're actually good. I like them. In Apple Cinnamon Cheerios. It's my birthday, but the presence of you, Magic Motion Stickers, that magically change. You can get one of six in these specially marked boxes of Honey Nut Cheerios, Apple Cinnamon oh. Cheerios, and God, Cheerios. I remember these things. Micro Machine Man here and Mini Micro Man there. And they sucked. Yeah, we've got a delightful day planned, so we better get going. First stop. The Micro Machines Off-Road Country Playset, where we take our 4x4s to the great outdoors, cruising through tiny tunnels, moving down marvelous mountains with really rugged, mighty Micro Machines wheels, squeezed by the pity boathouse and tiny tackle shop, where we buy our bait. Second stop. The Micro Machines Truck and Service Center, good buddy, where we weigh in. You could really try it. Better put your Micro Machines on a super semi-diet, because you can hoist a trailer if you wish, then stop and buy some market fresh fish. Phew, you could play the day away in these. The Micro Machines Off-Road Country Playset and Truck and Service Center play sets of vehicles each sold separately from Galoo. Remember, if it doesn't say Micro Machines, it's not the real thing. Hey, you the bird who dares people to sniff Kellogg's Fruit Loops and not taste them? I am, and who are you? Iron Will. I can resist anything. I dare you, I dare you, I double too can dare you to sniff the lemon, orange, and cherry, but not taste, that's what I'm daring. Uh-oh. That's the double too can dare. Give me those Fruit Loops. The irresistible part of this complete breakfast. Once you smell them, you've got to have them. This could make me a morning person. Instead of a night person? Yeah. <laughs> This is small plates. I've never seen a black goldfish before. That's okay. He never saw a rich white man before either. I'm afraid there's just one solution. Find the way. Clothes do make the man. We met some black kids, and they showed us how to shoot born arrows. And we showed them how to shoot crabs. Oh, contraire. Weekdays at 5 what on Fox 66. That? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles will return after these messages. Oh, 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 who's that twister? Who's that cruncher? It's Oreo action from Oreo Munchies. A kicker, a cruncher, a chocolate cookie dunder, a creamy little muncher with Oreo. Oreo action, Oreo action. I am going to say something that is going to start a war. The only way Oreo is good, the only way an Oreo cookie is good, is kept whole, dunked in a glass of ice cold milk for exactly 15 to 20 seconds and pulled up. Outside of that, they suck. Dry Oreo cookies, I would rather let Ronda Rousey punch me in the balls than eat. You have to have milk with Oreos. Fine, ice cream, fine. Still milk. You have to have dairy with the Oreo. Right now, if uh, that commercial was shown today, they'd be saying the young boy was exerting patriarchal male privilege over the little girl. Squeeze it, fruit drink. For fruity fun, just squeeze it. Squeeze it. 
and she's submitting to his white male rage. Mario! 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 You know, I know this is one of the more famous ones, but I don't remember this one at all. He's back. All you had to do was ask. And, you know, I, I don't want to imply that my parents were some lunatics that like restricted my tv watching they really weren't i mean of course they took me to museums and zoo and all the other shit but they were normal parents they knew i you know they they if i watched tv all day and it, as long as it wasn't every day they didn't care Super Mario Brothers 3. If they did, they'd just say, hey, Dave, why don't you do something? Let's put together a puzzle. From Nintendo. Now you're playing with power. Extra, extra real ability. One of Dick Tracy's junior detectives has witnessed the killer's evil. Oh, leaving the God, this fucking flop. Okay. The Dick Tracy movie lost money. And the reason it lost money was not because it wasn't well acted. It was. You had Al Pacino, Madonna, Warren Beatty. It was an IP that no kid wanted to be a part of. At least not in my school. At least not in my in that time. I don't remember anyone d dressing up as Dick Tracy. It was a property of our grandparents. They had skipped a fucking generation. Plus, the movie was, you know, I watched it as a kid. But it was like pushing the line of what my parents would let me watch at the time. Of course, they also let me watch, you know, fucking Batman Returns, so. I don't know, maybe my, my mother hated me. Never climb. Luckily, he's got on the Dick Tracy two-way wristwatch. The best way to keep in touch with headquarters. The transmit button activates the voice monitoring light, and the built-in working watch keeps super accurate time. Will Dick Tracy get there? All glitchy and flat top. Get away. Find out next time. We now return to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Every dick is like this group is spotted. No. Come on to the press promotion. It's a sparkly blue place. Come on to the press promotion. Come on to the press promotion. Hey kids, remember when toothpaste added sugar? The 1990 Collectors. Jackson just made my collection because Bo knows baseball. Will Clark, his lumber is lethal. Mitchell, Grace, Madding, power hitters. I like the guys I like, you know? Conseco, man can smash the ball a mile. This year, Brian, from rookie to now, his ERA and win-loss stats keep getting better and better. Bo's first year stats, check them out. Each sold separately, now with a rookie card. Starting lineup 1990, the Collectors. Uh, now those figures in that collection with those cards in that condition, probably worth, oh, I don't know, $80,000 or more. Collector's choice. They're totally fresh. They're slamming. They're jamming. They're bad. Thank you, Magic Johnson. We're the bot boys, hear what we say. You wanna be a bot? Do it this right. way. I'm a ninja bot with ninja might. Ninja fight! I'm the combat bot, look at what I got. I'm a sports bot, wanna play? Do it my way. They talk, fight, and play their way. The bots, the bot boys. No 
it's really hot. Wanna have fun, gotta be a- Don't remember that toy at all. Either it was a local thing or... I... don't care. The fighting talking bots. It's sold separately. Batteries not included. Toy Look out! Look out, kid! You've got a lot to do! Her lesbian friend is telling them they're late to their porno shoot. Oh my god! Can I have five seconds? I don't know about this in everyone else's state, but in my state, and I believe it is still a thing. Uh, can we please have a moment of silence or a moment of reverence or I don't know what fucking pedophile called up a middle school girl car wash? Oh, yeah, the raise money for band camp or this camp or that camp. But what it boils down to is a bunch of 12 year old girls in bikinis washing a full-grown man's car and the school that we pay taxes to is behind this i would like to meet this particular pedophile because i'd like to beat out of him how to do a perfect scam Like, seriously? How, how did you pull this off? I want to know. Because once I do, I will be God. I will be able to do whatever I want and get away with it. It is the last part of me. Time for Batman the Animated Series on Fox 32. Seriously, am I the only am I the am I am I the only bastion of this behavior? Where middle school girls would wash cars and rather revealing clothing. Cause yeah, it was in every fucking parking lot. Alfred. I can't be the only middle school car wash guy to, to have seen that. Or is that just, is my state some weird bastion of Jared from Subway? I, I wish I was Power Falcon. But I'm not. I I can't before COVID. I, maybe it maybe it simmered down. But no, before COVID, yeah. Around August or July, you'd see something something middle school girls. Uh, car wash. And yeah, they'd be dressed well with basically swimsuits on and would wash the person's car. Again, I never partook because I don't trust kids to do a damn thing right. But they did it to raise money for their band camp or whatever. I wish I was making that up, but I'm not. That really happened. Extended to the high school girls, too. But let's be honest, outside of one class of high school girls... 
Y'all are underage. And now, Batman, the animated series. We'll be right back. There's only one. Ba Love Batman, the animated series. Fast tracks. Fast tracks. The fastest radio controlled track vehicle in the world. Climb tougher. Break out faster. With rechargeable 9.6V turbo power. Nothing else even comes close. Fast tracks 360s. Fast tracks goes where you've never gone before. 9.6V turbo fast tracks at fast tracks pickup. Only from Tyco. Battery pack required. Sold separately. So there I was with Bunny. Mixing up some quick. Don't forget to clean the basement. When magically we were in the dungeon of the evil witch creep Pella, who was stealing all the world's chocolate. We have to stop her. I'll distract her with some. You're in your base. Whatever. Fine. Fuck it. Quick, and I'll tie her up. Chocolatey quick. <laughs> Looks like she's tongue-tied, too. Who are you talking to? Um, nobody. Nestle Quick, it's magic in the make. I'm just talking to my bunny friend, who is probably a relevant source of my insanity. Fantastic flowers made by me. What are you doing? Making a beautiful bouquet of flowers. How? With my fantastic flowers flower-making set. Wow. So many colors. They smell pretty. Fantastic flowers made by me. Look what we made, Mom. Fantastic. Fantastic flowers made by me. Fantastic flowers flower making set comes with everything here. Later, without a father, that girl would become a street walking whore. Here, refill sold separately. Hey kids, now you can win a birthday bash with Batman. He'll bring the Batmobile to your home for an amazing birthday party. To enter, write down today's date and bad guy. Your name, address, phone number, and mail to Batman Birthday Bash, Box 1129, Hollywood, California, 90078. Entries must be received by December 16th. Keep watching Fox so you can be a winner. Now, back to our program. They came in search of Count Chocula cereal. The double chocolatey part of a complete breakfast. It's dark up here. Look, eyes. Moving eyes? Spooky eyes. Scary eyes. Bats eyes. Bats? I love bats. That's why my new batty boxes have eyes that go batty. <laughs> they move. Count Chocula. Now you can look for boxes with eyes that go batty. They'll be looking for you. This is Kawabungie. And this is Cowabongo. But the turtles for your 16-bit system are Cowabunga! By the way, I love that game. Holy cow, it's Turtles in Time! The cool arcade game for Super NES. Now with tasty turtle duels. And psych up your Sega Genesis with the Hyper Stone Heist. An all-new 3D turtle thrash. So remember, this is Cowabingo. But the turtles for Super NES and Sega Genesis are... Cowabunga, dude. Oh, God, this shit. Oh, God, I remember Berry Berry Cakes, but I, but I remember the parts I was supposed to like tasted as bland as Cakes. Anyway, um, I think this is where I'm going to stop. So, good night, everyone. Um, I did not one, but two live streams. And, uh, yeah, so I, I think this is where I'm going to call it. So, good night, everyone. <laughs>